Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I wanted to share some of the updates that are happening with DronePan version 2.0. This will actually be in beta later this week, so please feel free to join the Facebook group, get on the beta, and help us test. Now, one of the things that we get asked a lot is, originally I demonstrated a video uh, with version 1 way back where the gimbal would yaw and we lost that functionality due to some changes in the DJI SDK. So DronePan 2.0 will actually reintroduce gimbal yaw. We're on the latest SDK and you can see a bunch of the UI widgets. Battery, satellites, our little compass widget. We're going to also introduce a map view which will show the aircraft location and allow you to uh, save panorama waypoints, but that's not in this current beta. What we're trying to do is get this to a state where many users with as many aircraft as possible can test and shoot successful panoramas. So let me just demonstrate the gimbal yaw first for Inspire One. I'm going to go into our panorama settings. You can see number of rows, number of columns. Let's just change number of rows to two and number of columns to six. We'll change the yaw type from aircraft to gimbal and then sky row is currently disabled. That's another feature that we tested works well on many different aircraft is when you turn that on, you can get the plus 30 degree angle up to get more of the sky. But for this demonstration, I'm gonna leave that disabled. You can see that should take two rows, six columns. I'll go ahead and click start. You can see it says zero of 13 photos taken. What we should see happen, the screen flashes, the photo is taken. Now it's going to take the second row photo, which is at 45 degrees. You can see the gimbal is jawing again. It'll take the photo and it'll go through this entire sequence. And when it's done, you'll have all the photos that you need. For Inspire 1 and Inspire 2 users, we understand the importance of gimbal yaw just from my testing. It's so much more uh, stable and less issues with uh, stitching versus aircraft yaw with such a big aircraft. It's actually shooting the nadir photo. You can see that the panorama is now complete. Now we have drone pan, same version, 2.0 with the Mavic Pro and on my iPhone 6. We've worked to make sure that the UI is compatible with both larger uh, tablet sizes as well as phone sizes. We're getting a bunch of much needed rain in Austin so I can't do this test outside but I will demonstrate it through uh, simulator mode. So you can see that my Mavic Pro is hooked up to the DJI Assistant 2. I'm going to start the simulator and you can see it there. So what you need to do in drone pan for aircraft y'all obviously uh, you need to be in the air. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the remote since we're in simulation mode, you can see that the flight controller is actually simulated on the screen. So I'm in the air, and let's just do our panorama settings. Keep it simple, we'll do number of rows four, number of columns seven, we'll just leave the default. We'll turn off sky row. Actually, I'm gonna turn on sky row so we can just see that plus 30 uh, gimbal pitch. We'll click save, and then I'll go ahead and start the panorama. You can see that the gimbal actually pitched up towards the ceiling, which is good. And then you see it's taken the four shots. Then you'll notice on the screen, it was yawing 60 degrees. And what's cool is you can actually see that on the compass. So as the photos are being shot, the gimbal pitches, the aircraft will yaw. Do notice that our counter isn't updating so we'll need to look into that. So just a demonstration of what we've been working on with DronePan 2.0. For those of you that are interested on the technical side of things we are using SDK 4.1. We have rewritten everything in Swift and we're using the new UI widget so development has gotten much easier. You can see that both on Mavic Pro and Inspire One, the same code works. Now there are still some bugs in the SDK. We always have to work through those, but all in all, things are getting better. We'll be working hard to get this in beta as well as into the App Store within the next couple of weeks. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.